Hi guys, it's Tommy Two Face Toys here again, and I'm here to show you my second car boot haul of the year. Right, so I went out this morning, it was a very chilly minus four degrees when I got in the car, so I was like, oh my god, is anything going to be even going? But I was assured the car boot was open, and I did manage to find a few bits, not loads of stuff, but um, I found some bits. But I will quickly talk about something that I picked up during the week. I picked up already. Um, I sold one of them already. Um, it was a Power Rangers little set of like morphers um, from the Dino Charge. I've got the Dino Charge Deluxe Morpher, which I've sold already with a charger. Then I also picked up this Deluxe Saber, working with its charger. It's in there, as you can see. Um, also picked the Terra Saber with its own charger as well. And also picked up the Terra Morpher Gold. with its own charger inside as well. So nice little lot. I got that with the Deluxe Morpher, and it was a tenner. I picked those up for, and I've already obviously sold the Deluxe Morpher. Um, if you're interested in any of these, just find me on eBay, Instagram, or just message me on here. And we'll do a deal. Right, let's get on with what I found today. Um, so obviously it was really cold. I got there first, and it was quite busy still, but there was frost on. Basically every table, so I was like, oh my god, what's the condi what condition is some of this stuff going to be in? Um, I found at first this guy. I just noticed him and thought he looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if he's working yet. He's pretty grubby because the door's there. The batteries, but it all looks pretty clean, so with a bit of luck it works. But he is from Backyard Akins, I found now. So I um, uh, can't remember the name of him. I think it's... Uh, Coyote or something like that, or oh, I can't remember now. Or oh, it's Tyrone something, um, something weird. I've never heard of him, so he doesn't stand not too sure footed, but he obviously makes some noise or something, so I can't wait to check him out. But he looks pretty cool. Um, picked up Ben 10 Omnitrix watch, another one I've sold countless of these. It's a shame I don't have any of the crystals with it. I haven't checked to see if it's working yet. Um, hmm. Sleeping a bit, um, obviously without the crystals I can't retail, really but the light's working. Check that out a bit later, see if I can find a crystal somewhere. Um, then went to another table and there was a guy saying 20p each, all of these. So I've got a mini Lightspeed Red Ranger. Um, the Grey Iron Man, I've forgotten his name now. Um, got RPM Black Ranger and two RPM Blue Rangers um, so that was a pound for all that lot so not a bad little lot um, got another little Chapman figure um, something about these Chapman figures I keep picking them up um, he has a battery so I'll have to check to see if he works but I keep looking at some of them and some of them are so detailed and I really like the look of them I know some people do collect Chapman so um, I think I'll have to do a little bundle at some point or wait till I get certain types of like the futuristic ones, the pirate ones, all the different styles together and then I'll do some bundles and then. Um, this little Joker car, I thought he looked pretty cool, I've never seen this before I'll be honest. Um, it's dated 2012 so it's not that old and it doesn't appear to be an Imagine X because they definitely don't look like that but he looked pretty funky so bought him. Um, Philip Quill from Guardians of the Galaxy, quick draw, it's a pretty cool figure, picked him up for 50p, there you go, pretty awesome, quite robust and mechanism works pretty nice though, uh, another couple of little, this is the second week in a row I found some Rugrats things, I never really see Rugrats but found Tommy and Chucky and I assume that's to put coins in, I'm not really Sure. Just carry it as a little pouch? Maybe. I don't know. Picked up two tiny little My Little Ponies. I think this one's from McDonald's, but it's of the G2 generation. And then this one, I assume, is a fake, but it was stamped in 1997, so I thought I'd get it. It does actually look like the Lanard style ones because of the way the eyes, the actual white of the eyes, is totally different and the uh, Legs are two different colours. Don't normally get that on the 
original My Little Ponies. Um, picked up this great carded hawk girl. Um, quite an actual, it's not that old this figure as far as I'm aware, I'm sure they're not. It is dated 2016, no, so not very old, but pretty good condition. The card's slightly bent at places, but still a brand new figure. Um, and I think it's one of the rarer ones, actually, the Hawk Girl. It's not as common as the Wonder Woman, definitely not. Um, I'll stick it back there. Then I picked up this bag. Um, the reason I picked it up, it was a pound they were selling it for, but I did see that there was a figure in here that I thought would be alright. From Peter Pan. Um, not the original Captain Hook that we're used to seeing, but... Got a little parrot there. The mechanism still works. There you go. <laughs> and the hands obviously was missing a hat, I assume. Maybe the hat used to pop up or something like that. When, Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like there used to be a hat there that popped up. He's pretty cool. What else we got in here? Um, some weird sort of little knight here. Stamped with bully. So I can't remember what they do, bully, but they're normally, I think they're bendables, I think, normally. Some little pirate figure. Seems to be a lot of pirates going on in this one. Little knight. Another little figure, he looks familiar. DS Divers, does he look familiar or does he just look like someone? Lanard, so he obviously just looks like someone, he's obviously a bootleg of someone. His face definitely looks like someone. Not sure who, but reminds me of someone. What else we got here? A little shield from something. Let's have a little look at that. Some other random little knight. It's obviously some sort of fake as well, just a little random knight. Nothing special there. Um, then I picked up one, one was selling all of these, so I got a Stoll's figurine stamper. I think it's of Darth Vader. I think it's from the 90s at some point. Yeah, it was from 97. There's another four to, to get out in the set. There's Yoda, C3PR, R2D2, and a Stormtrooper. Um, and it's obviously a pretty cool stamp. I don't know if the ink still works on that, but it's got the lid on it and everything. It's still all in, but it has been opened at one point and attempted to be taped up. Just a bit of a shame. But then the next two from the same lady, carded Kylo Ren's. Um, the cards aren't too bad. A little bit of dog eardness going on there. A little bit fraying there, but that could be the moisture from today. Um, I'm not sure, but apart from that, they seem all right. It seems all there. So it's the unhooded version and the hooded version, masked, unmasked. Sorry, not unhooded. Um, they're pretty cool. So she was selling them those two cards for three pound each and the stamp for two pound each. Um, so it came to eight quid, but I got that for six quid, so that's not bad. Basically, a couple of quid each. Then. The last thing, items I found, I found that one, and they were probably the best figures I did find, apart from the DC superhero girls. Um, never seen him, but he's absolutely awesome looking. Nessus from Hercules. Um, he's got some articulation there. And a great little mechanism, actually. Oh, and the tail still moves. He's pretty cool, actually. Is that any articulation? It looks like it would be, but it doesn't. Uh, that's the only articulation. He's really cool looking. Like him. Um, got him for a pound, which is an absolute bargain. And then I got a small soldier figure. Brick bazooka. Um, it still goes round. It's a shame his missile's missing, but um, he's pretty cool looking. Bit dirty. But looks alright. Don't look bad at all, actually. Um, and then I got Insaniac, that's it. Um, one of the cooler looking figures, but not actually worth that much. But I love the way this guy looks, always have done. And I love the articulation in his arms. The fact that 
that socket just goes all the way around swivels as opposed to just going up and down. Just feels quite smooth. He's a great looking piece. Um, and I think that is everything I've got. Let me just have a quick look around. Yep, that is everything. So, it weren't too bad considering there's a bit of dodgy weather. Um, if you like what you see or you're interested in buying anything, just leave me a comment. Um, or just post a comment anyway if you think how I could improve these videos or you know if you like what I'm doing if you don't like what I'm doing just let me know if you know any advice is good advice and then follow me on Instagram at Tommy Toothpaste Toys or find me on eBay Facebook just search for Tommy Toothpaste Toys thank you very much and goodbye <laughs>